What is up guys? Welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be a little bit shorter than usual and it's going to feature a series of interviews that I conducted with different photographers at Paris Fashion Week. I spent the last two weeks in France and Spain and the first of those weeks was spent entirely at Paris Fashion Week. I got a lot of fantastic photos that I'm really excited to share, took a ton of footage. So next week's video is going to be my experience at Paris Fashion Week, talking about how I got into shows, how I met people there, how I got gigs, etc, etc. Everything that you might be interested in knowing. This week's video, however, is going to be more focused on the people that I met there and why photographers go to Fashion Week in the first place. So this video contains interviews with an assortment of different photographers, people at shows, outside of shows, people who I was traveling with or met along the way. And I just wanted to cover like a broad range of skill levels and just reasons why people would be at Fashion Week. Are they employed? Are they going for fun? Are they street style? Are they runway? Etc. Etc. So thank you guys so much for watching, and without further ado, let's jump right in. So, uh, what brings you to Fashion Week? You, actually. I'm in Paris Fashion Week to videograph my best friend Yumi. She's one of the models. In addition to that, I'm getting some additional content behind the scenes for the rest of the show. I was following a photographer called Serge Ramelli. A few years ago, he put a post on Instagram saying that his daughter was looking for photographers for the Fashion Week. And I said to myself, why not? I was asked to be the official photographer for Fashion Week Studio, and they put on a great event. Um, I was delighted to be asked to come and take part in all of this. It's been a real treat for me. <laughs> Basically, I'm a fashion photographer, so I'm driven by fashion, and I came to capture as many stylish people as possible. I was invited by my friend, who's a high-end fashion director from London. First Fashion Week ever. It's all a different dynamic from what I'm used to. High energy, like, just go, 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 You're kind of like paparazzi. I live here, so that's a big part of it. It's an easy commute for me. Um, and I love fashion so much that it's a no-brainer. And what is your favorite part of fashion? Basically, meeting other colleagues, honestly. There's so many wonderful people that you get to know just by being here. So if you're looking to get to know people that are in, with the same interests as you, I definitely recommend it. My favorite part is to see the story that comes from the designer that's exuberated through the models with how they carry themselves with the pieces. I would say my favorite part of Fashion Week is the collective energy that takes place under one roof. We have so many incredible artists and creatives, hair and makeup designers, photographers, directors of you know magazines, editors, etc. So it's really a great time to be amongst all that creative energy. Meeting people I should have never met in other situations of my real life. And I can speak all the language I know. I really, really love getting to see and work with the independent designers that come, the ones who are focusing on sustainability and inclusivity and all of those things and supporting that part of the fashion industry. Um, what are you shooting with? I shoot Nikon for the most part. Um, I have a Nikon D750 and a Z62. And when I can, I love to incorporate film as well on one of my too many film cameras. <laughs> What's your film camera? Uh, I have a Nikon F100, which I love. I've also been doing a lot of point-and-shoot work just for personal stuff, and I did bring that to the last season of Fashion Week and loved it. We have the DVX 2000. It's like classic skateboard camera. Doing like fisheye stuff, trying to change it up, you know. Um, and then I have Mamiya 7. It's medium format. Like, And then I have Fuji GA645. It's another medium format camera. Lots of Porsche 400. <laughs> the Ricoh GR1V. <laughs> <laughs> like tape. But actually not tapes, so what sets us apart is PP2 cards. It's like a very re unique VHS look, but onto like a digital format. I'm shooting with a Sony a7 III. I have my wonderful 50mm 1.8. I have a Carl Zeiss 85 F14, which is manual, so it's a bit of a struggle. So I wouldn't recommend it, but I still brought it and my Godox VX V1 for nighttime. I am shooting on the Sony A7 IV and I'm on my 2470 for the for the shows. Uh, I'm shooting with 2A7R4. Where can we find you on social media? Or my company, Amplar Creative. Oh, so on social media you can find me at Linearius, which is my name, Lanier. I O U S. You can find me at heathertamaro.studio. That's Heather H E A T H E R Tamaro T A M M A R O dot studio. I'm on Instagram, on TikTok, Sham underscore photography, which is Y A M underscore photography, and 
my website shamilapephotography.com and yeah. My Instagram is Solen Geo Fashion. I'm on Instagram at your Paris moment. Uh, my website is pagegroupphotography.com and I'm also on YouTube at pagegroupphotography. So it's at Gianni underscore Tulio and then giannitulio.com. So that is it. That is all of the interviews that I conducted during Paris Fashion Week. Hopefully you guys found this video fun and interesting. Hopefully you're inspired to go and check out Paris Fashion Week yourself. And if you are, stay tuned for next week when I will show you exactly how I managed to get into a bunch of shows and get all the gigs and everything. So this is part one of two Paris Fashion Week related videos. Stay tuned for part two next week. Thank you guys so much for watching. Like, subscribe, comment. You can find all of the photographers who are interviewed in this video down in the description. They'll have links to their social media, so go check them out. Fabulous, talented people, just like my audience. <laughs> Take care, stay sharp, and don't forget to keep shooting. Bye guys.